So I'm probably gonna like, crash when I come home. <laughs> uh, so this is not being extremely exhausted. The 24 hours uh, straight coffee. I think I've had uh, 15 cups of uh, coffee. Pushing yourself to uh, stay awake and code. A little bit like a marathon almost. <laughs> Um, regardless, the actual challenge begins at 9 p.m. Am I correct, Hamid? It goes live at 9 p.m. and people can't start working before that, right? Also, you're more than welcome to work or sleep on your desks in your rooms. Uh, it's just other people might be working alongside them. It's nice that we have 24 hours so that you have a lot of time to come up with a complex and good solution. Going into the final phase, it was um, quite a massive step up. During the first few hours of the hackathon, the students may have gotten a little shocked due to the difficulty increase. Uh, we actually tried to visualize, because in last year's competition, visualizing the problem was important for us to actually find a good solution. But this year we completely failed and I have not seen any good visualization. It was very difficult to apply your intuition to see what would be a good solution. The challenging part was that in the real world that it's a big problem, complex problem, but needs to be solved in very short time. The execution time needs to be in microsecond. They need to find a sort of balance between precise and optimal solutions, but also imprecise and uh, fast solutions. In one hand, we wanted to have tasks that be solvable in a one week, I mean in a time frame of the hackathon. On the other hand, we wanted to have tasks which is related to our business uh, to give us the students uh, some taste about what we are doing for designing mobile networks. Welcome to on-site phase of this year hackathon and good to see you, some of you again this year. I don't know if you enjoy the qualification phase task or not. At some points uh, I was ready to <laughs> give up almost, but then uh, you uh, make a breakthrough in your code and it becomes fun again, so it goes up and down. It's the combination of pushing yourself and uh, doing something you like. <laughs> to make them feel that what they are doing is worth it, that they can get uh, where they want to be in the future by how they are, how they are pushing now. It's primarily about meeting the people. When you sit there for, you know, know, how many hours thinking about the problem, you start to think that our approach is the only approach. I can't think of anything else. I have tried everything. And then you actually listen to people's solutions and they try all sorts of things. Like maybe one is similar, but there are like so many possible solutions. Well, industry that's really cutting edge, industry that is really working on new technologies, and it allows the students not only to see what that foundational theory is for, it also gives them exposure to professional deportment, being able to conduct themselves in a way that is consistent with good business practice. And this is where they get an opportunity to actually see the meaning of their education and how it applies to the needs of industry. Thank you all the students, professors and colleagues for your great support and help. Congratulations to all the winners. Noise, and the winner of this year is Team C. Oh. 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 Good, congratulations.